Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our The Samsha video of the week. I know I was supposed to do satsang, but I don't have time for that. Uh, it's crunch with the Meeting Ketu production. Just rolling, 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 rolling. And hopefully all of you enjoyed the trailer, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be coming. I'm hoping to release it in November. Maybe December. Depends upon when the movie score is done. Special effects are done. You know, so, but, and it's not coming cheap. So please join Keras Vlogs or any of my courses at Magha Vedic Astrology Academy at this link here. And obviously, if you want to know where your planetary placements are, including your Dasamsa chart placements, check out the links here under shop section with all the reports, consultations. So today we are going to be discussing sun in the 10, I mean, sun in the ascendant of your Dasamsa chart. Okay, as in what happens when sun is in the first house of your D10 Dasamsa chart, which is one of the, actually the most important chart related to your obligation to society and what work and how the work is done in society. You know, so it's it's a very, very important chart. Actually, it can even tell about a person's uh, personality with this particular chart. So let's talk about sun in the first house. So with Sun in the Ascendant of the Samsha, clearly this is a person who is extremely independent in their work. Independent in their professional work, personal work, hobbies. This is not the individual you want to give orders to. They will not like it. They will have their arrogance and ego. And such people, obviously, clearly when I see this in the Samsha, this person is not meant to like do some kind of a job under someone unless... They are given a higher status in that company, like a vice president, you know, senior advisor, something senior where they have people under them. Now, yes, they will be able to mold their ego if they have to deal with the CEO, if they have to deal with, you know, the district presidents, president of the company. But if like, you know, if this person is being ruled over just by regular co-workers, they do not do well with this. And especially you will see that this person's communication is extremely bold. Like even if it's like your employee, you know, even if it's somebody working under you, the way this person will communicate, you'll be like, am I the boss or are you the boss? That's how this uh, particular son will behave because not only they want to be in a leadership position, their communication usually comes out very harsh and bold because they feel like, well, you know, I deserve this. The position that I am in, I deserve this particular position. So, you know, it's a give and take with this. And then the other thing you also see is that such a person also will have a hard time working in partnership. Like such people need to kind of like work alone work by themselves that's the only time that they do well because the thing is in partnership this person is gonna like again want to dominate uh in terms of how things needs to go how things needs to work out but usually you will find if there is also saturn in kendra meaning the one four seven or ten thousand usually this person always desires to be in a government position politics and especially even though they have that ego that i need to be a leader you know i need i don't want to be ruled by you i want to be the leader but you will see that they make the most excellent leaders because they love taking care of their subordinates they become the father figure the mother figure for their subordinates they're like yes this is my clan this is my uh, army and I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm not going to let these people down. And one thing we do see though, that if the work is stressful and if they have a lot of responsibility, so here's, uh, you know, like a double-edged sword. As much as this person wants to be in the leadership position, the desire to be in it, if they do get in there early in life, like 20, 21, 2050 or onwards, if it's a male, they will start receding their hairline. Their hairline will start to 
recede, especially if sun is in the fire sign. Usually in a um, fire and air sign, it'll do that. Earth sign is the best. Water is also okay. But you will see with a sun being in a water sign in the ascendant, um, they will deal with a lot of headaches. They will deal with a lot of, um, uh, you know, what do you call that? Sciatica pains or I, I forgot the word, uh, but the stress over stress brings heat to their head. It won't be so much with Mars. Mars is able, able to capable, uh, capable of doing that, but sun you know, suddenly has the pitta rising, meaning the heat rising. Now, such a sun will always respect a mentor and an advisor. Not somebody like, you know, trying to order them, but whenever they have, and I usually they always do, have very good advisors and mentors at work. They respect them like their own father. They will respect them like their own mother. But main thing to get out with this particular son is that they have to be in a leadership position, whether they do their own business, whether they're in a high government status, whether they're in a high executive status. They have to be in that particular position. The second thing that you need to remember is that such people would better off working either alone in a business or if they do do a business, they should have majority of, you know, the role in a corporation or stake in the corporation. So this way that balance will be there for them. The balance will be there for them. And the third thing you have to remember is that they do make actually very good leaders with their you know subordinates like whenever they have people working under them that's when they enjoy work even if this person does business they will usually want to have a business where they can hire other people where they can be with other people they will also want to do things quick they want quick results like you will see this person as a manager like okay when can this be done two months please give it to me in one month i want this done in one month it's kind of like how, you know, Steve Jobs pushed his employees to the breaking point, especially when he was trying to create uh, Macintosh or Lisa. This is the type of individual will be, and they are the ones putting all the rules, regulations, and policies in place. Even if this is person is the lowest employee, they will have some kind of a rule and policy about their workspace. What you can do, what you can't do, when you can come and ask them and not ask them like with their subordinates they will become that particular person okay so anyway guys this was my analysis of sun in the first house of the samsa chart if you're new to my channel subscribe below if you want to know where your son's place all your just logical details check out the links here including my maga vedic astrology academy which if you join will be absolute help with meeting meeting ketu production anyway